In this video, I'm going to share 5 secret tricks which no one would have told you. I'm sure that this will take your modeling game to a whole new level. So don't skip the video and watch till the end because there is a bonus tip waiting just for you. What's going on fellas, I'm Geo, this is Geo Creations. You can find me on Instagram as Geo Jervin. Let's jump right into the video. SketchUp is really a powerful tool which is well optimized for AutoCAD. Your modeling game will be a real fun if you know these tricks. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what's the typical way for placing a window? Draw guides according to the dimensions, draw a rectangle, push it to make a hole, scale the component and place it, right? But OMG, there is a lot of other windows. It's a lot of work, right? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do this in no time. Actually, we're gonna do this in reverse. First of all, make sure if you made all the similar components as a block in AutoCAD itself. For example, make all the bathroom doors as the same block and you shouldn't resize the same block for your entrance door. Make a separate block for it. I'll show you why in a moment. If you place a component inside the block from AutoCAD, it will be applied to all the components. So if you place the bathroom door block in your entrance, your bathroom door will be there at your entrance, but in a weird scale. So don't do this mistake. Before even raising your wall, you need to place all the components. Just place it and forget it. It will be on its place. Let's raise the walls. Now we need to put holes on the wall, right? To do that, we're gonna extend two lines from each corner of this component. If you ask why, I'll show you in just a moment. Now I'm going to use a plugin, 1001 bit. If you haven't watched my top 5 plugin video, please go watch it by clicking this i button. I also linked it in the description so that you can understand the further procedure. So let's click on the create opening button over here. Give your dimension and you are good to go. Now just place the crosshair on any one of these lines and double click over it and boom! You've just created a window with opening. Do the same thing to all the other windows in your model. You can use the same procedure to create a door opening also. And if you're doing a larger project with typical buildings, you need not place and orient each and every building. It's really a waste of time and energy. So make the typical building as a block prior to importing it into SketchUp. Now place a single block inside a component. Now you can see that all the buildings are intact with the position as well as the orientation. Another one underrated option in SketchUp is working with layers. You know, it's really a lifesaver in many cases. The layers in AutoCAD works perfectly as it is in SketchUp. You can add, delete and even hide a particular layer just like in AutoCAD. For example, while pulling the walls, you can just hide the rest of the model to get a clear vision. Or if the model is getting very heavy, you can just hide the high poly components so that you can work peacefully without any lags. You can just select the objects you want and click on the layer you want here. That's it. Now you can hide them on the hole. If you can't see this bar, just right click over here and select layers. And also check if the layers are enabled in the tray. Now let's see about the bridge which connects the AutoCAD with SketchUp which is XREF. You can actually change your 2D drawing in AutoCAD even after exporting it into SketchUp. You can do this by installing a plugin called XREF. You can download it from SketchUcation. Make sure you save the model and now go to extension XREF tools and select add XREF DWG or DXF. Now browse the AutoCAD file you wanted to import. Now the component is linked with your AutoCAD file. Whatever change you do in this file will take effect here. But the drawback here is anything you change inside the component will go off when you refreshed it. You can also do the same thing with other SketchUp files also which opens the gateway for simultaneous teamwork in SketchUp if you are connected with this common server. And also if you are working on a bigger project making changes in individual component will take an eternity to load in a lot of the cases. So instead of placing the block itself you can link the component in a separate file with your main file using XREF. Go to extensions, XREF tools, add XREF component and then browse the required file. Now go back to the file and do the required changes. 
Save the file now and return to the main file. Go to extension, xref tools, xref manager, in the drop down box select refresh and then hit ok and again hit ok. Now you can see your main model updated according to your changes. And the 50 pairs unique components, lot of would have known this already. For those who don't know, you cannot select the component which you need to behave differently. Right click and select make unique. But not again you need to explore it and make it as a block again. So now you need not worry about the entrance door, right? If you're getting value till now, consider leaving a like. If you've watched till here, you really deserve a bonus. Before that, feel free to join the community by subscribing to the channel. Okay, here's a bonus tip. While doing working drawings in AutoCAD, you may have need to name your doors or windows accordingly. Instead of naming each and every unit separately, you may have thought to name it inside the block itself. But here's a drawback. You need to explore to move a single unit if you messed up with some areas. So hold on, I got a solution for this you can add a block parameter to it let me show you how to do this go inside your block now you can see a block palette here open it by clicking on it under the parameters tab select point this is gonna be your anchor point of your block so place it accordingly now with the parameter selected go to the block panel again and now to the axis tab select move and now select the objects to be moved. Come out of the block and now you can see I can move this part without even exploring the block. Easy right? You can also stretch, rotate, mirror and change the visibility using this. Experiment with it and eventually you will get a hold on it. Or maybe I will do a video on it in the future. But wait, here's the problem. It acts as a separate block in SketchUp. So I recommend not to use it unless it is really required. I hope you got some value on this video. If so, come on guys, share this video and subscribe so that you can be a part of this community. Leave your suggestions as comments below or DM me on Instagram. Signing out for now, catch you guys in the next video. See ya.